All right, welcome to another episode of Backyard Football 1999. Uh, our last episode was we lost in a heartbreaker. It was um, it was really tough. You know, we got off to a really bad start. We could not stop. What was her name? Cindy Chang. We had a ton of turnovers. We had a chance in the end to tie it, but missed throw by Mikey, and that was that. It was our first loss of the year, and it was tough, you know, but thankfully we got our loss out the way now and not in the playoffs, so hopefully we can put this little one behind us and get on another winning streak. So today we're going against the Rockets, who are, let's take a look at the standings, one and four. So hopefully this should be an easier game. The Bears are the Bears are tough. They're uh, they're four and one. We might see them again in the playoffs. So uh, we just gotta take you know learn from that loss and move on. So let's uh let's take a look and see what the Rockets are all about. Hello, all you football maniac! It's time to get down with your favorite football players. Welcome to the frozen tundra of Parks Department Field Number Three. This game is an important matchup between two of the top league teams. The Mighty Rockets will go up against the Carolina Panthers. I'm Sunny Day, together with my pal Chuck Downfield. Thanks, Sunny. It's a spectacular day for football. People often ask me, hey, Chuck, why do they call it pigskin? Well, I'll tell you, buddy. In my day, we didn't use a football. Nope. We played with an actual pig. Yeah, we called it pig ball. Boy, you haven't lived till you've seen a pig flying 50 yards downfield for a touchdown. But then the pig started complaining about not getting enough money, so they quit, and we had to start using those footballs. I tell you, buddy, the game just wasn't the same without those pigs. Bless them. This game is an interesting matchup of interconference rivals. Anything can happen. This team is having a fantastic season so far, and if they can keep it up, they could go all the way to the Super Colossal Cereal Bowl. Let's go see some BFL football. All right, going against the Rockets today. We'll see if the snow has any effect. We're going against, looks like, Keisha Phillips, Tony Del Vecchio, and a couple creative players. Textbook tackle. We're going to start with our old reliable play again, Lunch Pail, although it wasn't very reliable last game. 32. Drops back to pass. Guns it across this is what we wanted all of last game. This is what was missing against that Bears game. This is more like it. This is what we're capable of when things are going right. Ian will try for the PAT. All right, that's more like it. Nice snap, nice hold, nice kick, easy as pie. It looks like Annie is going to take the kick. Diana, waiting for the kick, lands on the... Good 11. kick, Annie. Diana has got it. Oh, wrapped up. All right, hopefully they don't have any Cindy Changs on this team. That's just un unreal. The Rocket will start at their own 20-yard line. They got him. Mikey, with a little help from his friends to get that QB. Brings up second down. Second down and long. Keisha on the give. Hounds the middle. Finds a hole. Yeah, we're going to have to watch Keisha. She could, uh, she's a tank out there. Has more holes in it than my dad socks. It will be third down. Throw 36. Split smash mouth. Give up to Keisha. Up the middle. Hit the crease. Okay. Should be, uh, should, punt, should be punting this one. Dante, back to receive the punt. Frankie, on for the punt. Punts it, lets it drop. Collects it at the 39-yard line. 
Got it at midfield. All right. I'm still, I'm like this is much better than uh, the last game. The Panthers will start it from the 50. Couldn't get around Tony there. For no gain and might have lost some yards. It'll be second down. Second down and ways to go. Drops back. Quick out. Incomplete. A little too far on that one. On the Panthers, 49-yard line. Long drop. I got to set up the screen. Caught. He got great separation from the coverage. Oh, Dante, no. Man, Dante's having some fumble issues lately. Can't hold. Can't seem to hold on to the ball. will begin at the 43. Oh, I was not expecting a draw play there. Yeah, he's been fumbling a lot lately. You know, I don't like to. I don't, I don't like to see that. Rolls out. Rolls ahead for a gain of seven. Third down. 28, 36, put, hike. Quick out, it is caught. He read the play right. At I was going to say, the they're right. just running the ball, running the ball, and then they do a, they, they do a throw there. Back to throw. The pitch to Keisha. Should have Keisha wrapped up there, we do. <clears throat> so they're in field goal range. I'm okay giving up the field goal, I just don't want to give up anything more than that. Throws it to the flag. She got it. Yeah, they got a power on that too. Hopefully we can stop them here. Third and four. Drops back to pass. Tosses it back. Alright, that was a big stop. I think they should be kicking the three. They are. I don't know if this kid could kick. He probably can. Yep. It's alright. Nice snap, nice hold, nice kick, easy as pie. It looks like Frankie is going to take the kick. Dante, waiting for the kick, brings it in. All right, decent field player. position. We're at the Keisha 40 here. The first to get there. All right, Dante, we really need to not fumble, all right, my guy? The Panthers will start at the 41. Drops back to pass, fires it over to the near it's side. It's more like it. Complete. I like it. Hold what did we get? For a medium game. Focus, focus. We're game. we're gonna dial it up. We're gonna use it. Zip, zip, <laughs> the offense just used a little hocus pocus to make the receiver disappear. And Only that's a touchdown. Boom, boom. Really? How did I, I don't understand. I, I don't get it, but it is what it is. Diana waiting for the kick. Brings it in at the six yard line. Webo, they really stuck up that time. Alright. Uh I don't know what their power up is. Hopefully it's nothing crazy that gives them a touchdown. From the twenty nine. That was a good All right, we'll take it. Out of the ball and not for something. Welcome to halftime. The Panthers are leading this one as the first half comes to a close. 13-3. A good start by the home team. Well, let's see some more football. All right, let's get into this. Annie will be doing the kicking. Diana, to receive it, lands on the 12-yard line. Receives it at the 2-yard line. Knocked down. So I'm still a little worried about whatever power-up they have, but the we, even if they do we'll score, we're still winning. I got this guy. Fired into the flag. Couldn't bring it in. 
they had numbers in their favor if she had just made the catch. Second down from the 21 yard line. It will be Keecha. Uh, okay, that wasn't too bad, honestly. That, that could have been a lot worse. That, that wasn't too bad. Leapfrog 20 feet over everybody. Smash mouth. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? Just ran right through him. The 50. Pick up a good chunk of yards. Now that's impressive. That is a first down. First down and 20. Put, put, 16. Going to throw. Tony. Yeah, that was just a bad defensive call. I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have kept everyone up that far to the line. 28 yard line. Draw for no gain. That brings up third down. Power. Put 28, 28, 28. Drops back to pass. Tosses it back to. Should get this. Or not. She's going to run. I mean, that makes sense. She just ran right through Luann. Stepping down the sideline. She ran right through Luann. I mean, like I said, Luann just didn't have a chance there. Oh, oh, that was huge. Oh, my. I can't believe they didn't just QB sneak that or run it with Tony again. That was huge. Goal line stand right there. The Panthers recovered it. That was because that was they were easily going to get a touchdown there. The Panthers will start at the 43. Yeah, we just can't get this run game going. For no game. We might have lost some yards. It'll be second down. Hut, hut, hut. Going to throw. Oh, I got He's this. on his way down. I gotta stop running this crisscross play. It has not worked the last couple games. Third down. Oh, wait a second. The defense must have used the chameleon play to make their Nice throw. Nice, nice. Because I'm just as confused as the quarterback. Four than nine. We're gonna try it. We're gonna go for it. For a big game, the quarter ends on the Panthers' forty-seven yard line. The offense just used a little boom, boom, to make the another one, only to another one. All right, let's go for two. Hopefully Dante catches it this time. Drops back to pass. Oh, he got it. Barely. He barely got it, but he did get it. Alright, that should be game. That should be game. Big momentum swing there. They went from making it a 13 to 10 game to all of a sudden it's 21 to uh, 3. The rocket will begin at the 34. Drops back to pass. Mikey was the first to get there. Oh, yeah. We got this one wrapped up. We got this one wrapped up. On the rocket's 20-yard line. Drops back to pass. Fires it out to the far side. She got it. I don't think we have any interceptions this game. It's kind of just been those two fumbles. And that was it. And 23. The offense just used a little hocus pocus. To wow, they used the hocus pocus and just wasted it. It's because we're playing deep. There's no reason to not play deep. Oh, and they're punting it. Frankie will be punting it away. Booms one. Lands on the 48. We'll bring it back from the 39. Tony don't like that. All right. Let's see what we get. Super punt. That's not going to help us. I want to get. I want to try and get some rush running yards in, and try. We're just trying to try get some rush. That's not going to do anything. Yeah, our run. Their run defense has just been uh, very stout. Oh, that's not what we wanted. There was like three of us down there. I I was the thought maybe one of us would have got it, but it didn't work out that way, unfortunately. 
four. Look out! Isha, got it! Great protection by the line. Complete for about five yards. It'll be second down. On the rocket. Yeah, our, our, uh, our scoring is definitely not as high scoring as it was in the earlier parts of the year. We've uh, come down to earth. No more, no more like 37 point games recently. Mikey. That was a good decision to hold out of the ball and not force something. They're going for the three? Okay. On for the punt. Oh, they're punting it? Oh, yeah, it's fourth down. The kicking team just used a super punt to drop the ball deep in their opponent's territory. We're just going to punt it away. No point. <laughs> We're just going to use our super punt, see how far this can go. On for the punt. I suspect the kicking team just used a super punt to drop the ball deep in their opponent's territory. As my co-host would say, stick a fork in it, this one's done. The Panthers came out on top. 21-3. The better team won today. Well, that does it for us. I'm Sunny Day, along with Chuck Downfield. See you next time on BFL Football. Not a bad game. Our running game was non-existent, but not a bad game overall. Yeah, Dante couldn't get any anything running the ball today, but uh, other than that, I mean, Mikey, pretty good pass. The game had that one pick at the end. Other than that, pretty good game. Boom had those two Hocus Pocus plays. Let's see, defense. All around, pretty good game. Four sacks for Mikey. Yeah. I mean, we should have won. We were the better team. They're like one and four in the air, but that moves us to five and one now, so it was a nice bounce back after our last game against the Bears. So we're five and one with the Giants. The Giants, we we play them like twice at the end of the year. So those might be some those might be tough games. Um and that, that might decide the division, but we're five and one, the Bears are five and one. Broncos are five and one, so there's definitely some good teams. We're yeah, we're more than likely gonna end up playing the Bears or Giants in the playoffs. All these other teams are two and four. We beat the Fishes, we beat the Lions, so it's looking like we're gonna play the Giants or Bears in the playoffs. So hopefully, uh, <laughs> play a little better than we did last game. So league leaders, Mikey Thomas is second. He's passing yards. He's getting up there. He wasn't on this top five before, but now he's getting up there. His interceptions is getting a little high, but that's that's more from last game. He had like three or last game. Um, other than that, he really has only been throwing like one game. Yeah, we're not we're never gonna get on this rushing list. We don't run the ball enough. Uh, receptions. Dante's finally in the top five. It's nice. We're not there in any of those sacks and tackles. Yep, it's Mikey and Dante again. All right, so that's going to end it for this video. Our next one, we take on the Fishes again, who we won 31 nothing in our first game. So, and they're 2-4 and four in the year, so it should be another easy-ish win. Easy, easy game, but can't take anything for granted. Uh, but, all right, till then, I will see you next one.